You know, I've done a lot of videos in my six years of being here on YouTube. And there's some videos that are very tough for me to do. There's some videos that I take personal. And there's some videos that I get a tad bit emotional over. And this is one of them. Now, there's this bastard named Steve Stevens in the area of Cleveland, Ohio, that has gone around and is basically just killing random people over a woman. Now, you know... When I saw the video, and I, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's a very graphic video, and, and you know, if you do watch it, um, I would advise you just prepare yourself. But also, I, I want to ask, and I, and I feel like you know the people who are sharing it on social media, cut that shit out because you got to understand this, this is someone's family member that was brutally murdered. But I don't want to you know get too off too far off a topic. But when I saw the video, you know it, it, it bothered me. The man got out the car. Walked up to the, to the elderly man, I believe the man was 78 years old, told him to repeat a name, and then just, just shot the man right in his face. And when I saw it, you know, I was angry, you know, I, I, I felt bad for the poor man, because I have an elderly grandfather, okay? And I'm sure you guys have, you know, elderly people who are within your family that are still able to, you know, get up and, and walk around and, you know, do the necessary things that they need to do throughout the day. And that could have been my grandfather. That could have been somebody in you guys' family. And I'll tell you right now, that had been, you know, one of my people. This this motherfucker be dead already. I, I tell you that right now. I would have got my gun Got in my car and hunted his ass down. He wouldn't have to worry about the Ohio Police Department because I would have found his ass. And I guarantee you that. But, you know, for you guys out there in, in Cleveland, Ohio, you know, be on guard. Um, you know, you guys that do have a permit, you know, like myself to carry a firearm or, you know, um, you know, uh, rightfully use it when necessary. You, you might want to think about doing that because this guy is dangerous. He's going around and he's just murdering people for the hell of it. Now, what gets me is that we got these so-called gangbangers out here, you know, whether you're a blood, a crip, vice lord or whatever, you know, always talking about this gang gang shit. You know, I, I'm with the shits and all that. Where you guys at when you got somebody like this character terrorizing your community where's the ohio police department now y'all find you know a uh, uh, little ray ray in them in a minute for selling the nickel bag why haven't you guys found this guy the dude made a video on facebook live obviously you could track that down whether it's from his ip whether it's from his phone carrier or whatever you could track this guy down and find out where he is we have no privacy here in America anymore. Every time we damn near pretty much take a shit, we're being monitored, even when we're in our own home. Every time you have, whether it's cable, the internet, or whatever, people have access to you. And I just find it funny that it's taking this long to capture this guy. But this rotten motherfucker needs to, needs to die. Point blank, period. 